Here's a look into It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Zini. This book is about a 15-year-old boy who decides to commit suicide. Uh, instead, he calls a suicide hotline and he ends up going into a psychiatric facility. It has quite a bit of content about, he talks about smoking weed, he tries to not smoke weed and masturbate on the same day, right here. How come I had smoked pot and jerked off today? I had developed a rule on the days that you jerk off, you don't smoke pot, and on the days you smoke pot, you don't jerk off. Because the days you do both are the ones that become truly wasted days where you take three steps back. Now, this one, they're talking a lot about the drugs they're using. I had eight pills left in my final refill. I started thinking I didn't need Zoloft anymore. I can't remember what was on this page. There's quite a bit of talk about normalizing psychiatric drugs. Oh, he's happy. They went and gave him some serious drugs, probably. Like what? You know about pill drugs? Pills? Sure, I'm a teenager. Well, humble, psychotic, and depressed, Bobby explains. So he gets SSRIs, lithium, and Xanax. Vicodin, Johnny says. Vicodin, Valium. He's probably the most heavily medicated guy in here. So where they took him away, they gave him all that stuff? No, that's what he gets normally. When they take him away, they give him shots. I bet Ativan. Oh, I had that. You did? That'll knock you right out. Was it fun? It's okay. I don't want to be taking stuff like that all the time. Huh? Yeah, that's the right attitude, said Johnny. We got a little sidetracked by drugs, me and Bobby. Yeah, no kidding. He shakes his head and looks up. He chews and he folds his hands. Sidetracked isn't even a word. We were off the face of this planet. We were holed up for 24 hours a day. I missed so many concerts. He talks, about cop, he talks about garbage head. A garbage head is someone who does anything, whatever. You give it to me, I'll do it, just to see what it's like. Geez, I admit that sounds a little sexy. I see the appeal, and maybe that's why I'm in here, to meet guys who take the appeal away. Again, here it's referencing that he's 15. They're talking about sex. You know, I should probably wait a few years. 16, a sex at 13 is messed up. He says, I'm, well, I'm 15. Sorry for the camera. Um, so this girl that he likes comes to visit him in the psychiatric facility. And she says, I've been thinking, you know, checking myself in, spending a little time here or somewhere like it, recentering like you. And he says, you just can't come here because you want to. So this is showing like the psychiatric facility seems to be like a cool hangout place. He goes on, he wants to have sex with Naya. Um, it talks about, I look at my crotch, I'm springing up, I can't help it, she's so close. This face is so close to mine and it's the same face I've jerked off to so many times. I've conditioned myself to want this face, I want her. I feel her on me and I want her right now in her little Russian army outfit. I want to see that she looks like with it off. I want to see what she looks like with it half off. So he's talking about, you know, wanting to have sex with her and she's trying to talk to him about trying to kill himself. Um, let's see here, continues on. Now he's talking about Naya. Um, I think there was a part where he was rubbing the inside of her thigh. They're making out. She shivers, she likes it. She likes sex. Her tongue becomes a jittery dart flicking in and out of my mouth. I feel a ring, a little metal bubble, something to add texture, foreign and dirty. Forget it, let's do it. I reach up to the buttons of her outfit. My eyes closed. I open them thinking I might get a little too excited and ruin my pants, and mom didn't bring me any pants. Um, 
there's a cart in here. I was trying to find. So he's trying to have sex, but it gets interrupted. There's a part in here where he talks about the inside of a girl's cheeks, like the inside of another part of the female body. And that comes up again later. So at the end, there's another girl that she is in the psychiatric facility because she took a pair of scissors and she sliced open her face. And right before he leaves, he decides to have sex with this girl. Um, I put my hands on her white top and she doesn't stop me, not at all. And there they are, right through the fabric. One on each side. This is so cool. My palms envelop them and rise from them and envelop them again. I'm not really sure what to do with them. They're bigger than Naya's. They fill up my hands. Should I squeeze them? I try that. I look up. She's nodding. I squeeze them again. The whole thing's both at once, and I move my mouth down her chin to her cheek to her neck, kissing the underside of where an Adam's apple would be, only this was a real girl. She moves her hips against me, not her hips, her crotch. I mean, that is a crotch, right? Girls have crotches, or do they have like a prettier name for them? Wow, how far is this gonna go? She pushes whatever it is against my thigh. My feet have levitated somehow, and I'm horizontal on the bed next to her with my hands squeezing her from squeezing her and my shoes, my Rockport shoes, clank against each other. Everything's touching. Um, I take two fingers in my right hand and put them through the soft seam of her top. Underneath is a bra, I'm pretty sure. I twiddle my fingers against it, I can feel it. Can you feel things through a bra? She makes noises like someone about to sneeze. When I squeeze her breast, she makes more. When I twiddle the side of her bra, she doesn't make any. So I put my fingers in all the way through her shirt and I fill up through the dome of her bra, the highest point of her, an inch and a half above sea level. Hold on. Noelle shifts her butt off the bed and inserts her hands, flat, palms down, below herself. Now she's got no hands. She wasn't doing anything with them anyway, but it's weird. Keep going, she says. Okay, I slide my fingers, still outside her bra, around her nipple. I decide to try something. Then I take the nipple right between the knuckles of my index and middle finger and I squeeze. You can't get much of a squeeze on through a bra, but the noises are immediate. I look up. Oh, this is awesome. Shh, I whisper. Smitty will come. How much time do we have? She asks. I don't know, a little. You're going to call me, right? When you're out? When you're going to, and we're going to hang out. I wanna go out with you, I say, I really do. That's what I mean, we will, she smiles. In the psych hospital, they won't ask any questions. So now it gets back to it. One more thing, it's the same voice that got me hooked up with Naya. It's the voice of the lower half of me, but it feels truer now. And it knows it can get away with everything it wants to. Keeps going through. You know, I'm, I'm uh, in the danger of putting a hole through the bed at this point, and that's where I find underwear. Not underwear, panties, real panties. Holy crap, I'm actually gonna figure this out. Wow, no, I'll gasp. It is like the inside of a cheek. What? So here he's referencing where someone told him that the inside of a woman's cheek feels like the inside of a woman. Uh, Noelle pushes, uh, and this is, she's sensitive about it because cheeks are sensitive since she sliced her face with a pair of scissors. So she's like, what did you say about my cheeks, my butt cheeks? And they're talking about that. And they're discussing it. He talks himself out of it. She takes her fingers and puts them in her mouth to test it. And she's like, I don't get it. It doesn't feel the same at all. And then he pulls back and tells her how cool she is. Anyway, and that's kind of the end of the book. He checks out. But it does seem to be normalizing it. I skipped over it. There's one other thing in here where it says like 85% of teenagers are on some sort of drug. It talks a lot about the drugs talks about enjoying being in the psychiatric facility and that it's helping him, but it's not really in the tone of like healing. It's more 
just kids hanging out. So would you recommend this for a teenager? Yes or no, please respond below.